Hi everyone and welcome to a Canon 24-70 F4L IS looking at some images. This is the lens that I replaced the um, Tamron 24-70 G2 with. For now, uh, I got it at a very good price, second hand. So here we go. So we're going to look at the first image, which this was actually shot at the time of purchase. I shot it in his house on my 6D. And as you can see, it's nailed focus straight away here at F4. 60th of a second, ISO 3200 on a 6D. Oops, where am I going? Let's go across to the next image. Then this is another image I took, zoomed in. You can see it's not zooming in very far, and that's because I've got it running in 4K uh, on my 4K screen, so you, you're really seeing it as it looks now. Can I just dim the lights a bit? No, I'll leave the lights on so we can see the settings. So this is F4 at ISO 2000. And one thing that really impressed me with um, this lens, if we look at this here, you see 60th of a second, it's macro mode. This is macro mode on the lens. I mean, look at that there, focused here on this 20p. And it's only at 60th of a second at f4. I should have used f8, really. But you can see, look at it, absolutely tack sharp. Now, I will show you on the next image. Oops, for some reason, let me just... Um, let me just shift tab. I want to show you. I'll just take the, the filters off a minute. I'll just take the, the filters off. I don't know. Oh yeah, there you go. Look. That's that's the default 70mm out of the camera focused on the 20p. And then if we go to this shot here, that's macro mode. Look at the difference. You flick the switch on the lens and it goes past 70 mil and clicks and you get that absolutely stunning. That, that's an amazing feature on its own. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no, I've not turned the flag down, have I? Flagged. There we go. So there, that, that's really one feature that impresses me. And if we just have a look here, which we looked at the other day when we looked at the 24-70 f2.8 G2 Tamron, you can just see I focused on this sticker and you can just see the sticker is absolutely tack sharp. And the other day when I did it on the Tamron, it was just all over the place. And I've just noticed that basically it just focuses much more consistent. Look at it there, look, perfect. Now, I would say out of the box that overall sharpness, the Tamron was sharper, definitely than this lens, but this lens is sharp enough and it just, it's constant at focusing. And basically when I put it on my 6D, it just worked out of the box. I put it on my 80D, it worked out of the box. I did put a couple of points of adjustment on it, on the micro adjustment. I think it's uh, four at the telephoto, oh, sorry, at the wide angle, and plus two at the telephoto. So to be honest, it, it wasn't negligible what I put on. Uh, you wouldn't probably see it unless you were pixel peeping like this. Um, but it worked on both cameras where the Tamron worked on the 6D with a bit of adjustment and it, I couldn't get it at all on 80D. It was just a million miles away. So we'll just fly through some wider angles now, 35mm. Again, look at the car. Now, I don't know if you remember the Tamron, but it was just crap. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of the Tamron images were stunning, but it was like every two or three shots, it just didn't focus right. You know, it was terrible. Um, this is where I focused around this leaf here. And you can see it's focused where the Tamron didn't, for some unknown reason. We've got F4 here. I have noticed the F4 at 70mm, it's a touch softer than wider, but, but to be honest, it's good enough. I mean, these are raw files, and we focused right on this end here. But to be fair, the wind were blowing a bit, so that could have affected the sharpness. But overall, it just looks stunning, look. 5.6, absolutely stunning. And again, this gnome, I focused on the round the side of the ear here, and every one of them, I've, I've not showed you them all, but they all just nailed focus, every single one of them. Just click, 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 and just shift tab. Um, again, just spot on, really just a good lens. If we go and have a look at this gnome, absolutely tack sharp. Um, F5.6, tack sharp. Zoomed in, 5.6, F4, tack sharp. Just, just, just focuses right as it should. Um, it just works out of the box. 
So I'm really glad I got, got this instead of that shitty Tamron. But there you go. Let's just have a look at wide angle. If this were the Tamron now, for some reason, at wide angle, even at F4, it was soft. It just didn't focus. I focused on this right eyeball here. But you can see, as expected, at F4, just everything's in focus, apart from maybe just behind the fence there. But as a rule, overall, it's sharp. And again, on the Tamron, I focused on this crank here. I had the square half on the crank and half off. And if you look at this back, this these here, look at the first one. It's on the crank. Look at the next shot when it clears up. It's right on the nail. Look at the next one. F4 on the nail. When I did that on the Tamron, none of them were there. They were all over the place. This is macro mode now. On the uh, bolt here, focused on the bolt just here. And you can see that macro mode doesn't half get you close up. I really love that macro mode look. Absolutely superior sharp. I think we've got another couple of macro shots coming up. Oh, look, this is the flower. This is 70mm, as close as I could get. I focused here, right here. And if you look, watch macro mode, watch. It means you get a macro lens in one, and it's sharp as well. I mean, these are handheld at 100 of a second, that close. I mean, I should have really shot it at f8, f11, um, but that's beside the point. It focused right where I wanted it to. But, I mean, look at that. I'll just go full screen. That's 70 millimeter, as close as it could focus, and then I put it in macro mode. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. You get two for the price of one, it really is a good lens. I'll just show you a few more, a few more. There's a bunch of flowers on the table. No special. This is my car again, remember we photographed this yesterday. At F4, F28, and you can see it's absolute razor sharp. We even got a bit of a soft background behind. F5, 6, you can really watch that background, watch. That's F4, the background. Watch it now at 5.6. Look. Whee! I mean, absolute razor sharp. There's my new car. No, it's not my car, it's for friends. Um, we focused on the indicator, uh, this badge here, and you can see it's just absolutely razor sharp. And I think that's it. Oh! And this one, I, I, I focused on my knuckles here as a reflection in my uh, tinted screen. And you can see it's focused where it went to focus. And there you go. That's the first look at some images from the 2470 f2.8 L lens f4. The only negative to the lens, it's f4. But you know what, on the cameras that I own now, it's not an issue to push the ISO up a bit. And I just got sick of... 2.8 lenses missing focus at 2.8 and being shit anyway so i thought i might as well go f4 and i may ultimately if i if i if i end up regretting it and thinking well i need that extra stop i'll be getting the canon 24 to 70 f 2.8 version 2 but the only negative to that for me it's got no is on so that's what really put me off getting it anyway and this i got a right steal and i'm not going to buy a macro lens now because i think this 70 mil in macro mode for my wedding ring shots and stuff like that and close-up detail shots is is adequate it's going to do the job so i've saved money on a macro lens as well anyway thanks for watching please comment and subscribe and a big thumbs up would be nice